Hello, what's up? I made an intro to this channel uh, with a bunch of AI tools and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna be calling the channel Take the Hand of AI because it's so limiting to only talking about AI. Anyway, I thought I'd make a quick tutorial on how I did it. So let's roll the intro. <laughs> Today we're going through the steps to create these, uh, this intro that I made. I made it with uh, Midjourney, Runway and Kyber. Alright, so there are three steps to this. Uh, you first need to create the images in Midjourney, then you make them come alive in Runway, and then you morph them in uh, Kyber. After that you need to layer them, uh, you need to stack them on top of each other in different layers in Premiere Pro and one of the layers the caber layer you need to you need to cut out a few bits so you make this glitch effect so let's go through it the, the first thing that i did was that i went into midjourney and created the photos so i wanted to play around with this concept that uh, like ai and god take the hand of ai take the hand of god so i created a lot of images of like take human hand taking the hand of god like this one um and that was basically the first step. So the next step after you create these images is to make them come alive. And you do that in Runway. So download all the images that you want and let's head over to Runway. All right, so once you're in Runway, you simply just upload the file, press upload, you choose the photo that you downloaded and you upload it into runway like this. You don't need a prompt or anything, you can just press generate and the image will come come alive. It'll just take a, it'll take a few minutes to generate it and you get uh, 100 credits for free. Uh, it will though upload, it will, it will create like a little bit of low quality and you have also get this like square format. Uh, if you want the regular format and good quality, you can simply just upgrade it. It costs like $12 a month. All right, and once it's, woo, cool. Once it's created, you can just download them. And let's head over to Kyber. So Kyber is basically this program that is morphing video and photos with stable diffusion in the background. And uh, they've basically just packed stable diffusion in a user-friendly UI. Um, and it costs you $5 a month. And I think it's definitely worth what you can do here. So to create a video in Kyber, you just press create a video and you can start with an image or a video. For this one, we're gonna choose a video. We're gonna take the one we just created and continue. Uh, you can write your own prompt or you can choose a predetermined one. So for this one, I think we're gonna use a futuristic, a futuristic cyberpunk and let's see, oil painting maybe. Um, Yes, and it's now going to create four variations for you to choose. Right, let's choose this one. And it's then going to generate that. It usually takes a few minutes. All right, so it's now done. And what you can see is the exact same video, but with a layer of this like cyberpunk uh, futuristic style above it. So go ahead and download this one. And for the next step, we're gonna head into Premiere Pro, we're gonna stack the layers on top of each other, and we're gonna make small bits and pieces uh, go away from one layer to create this glitch effect. All right, so let's import the files. 
and we just downloaded from Runway and from Kaber and let's add them to the project. Once we've added them like that, we need to stack them on top of each other like that. And once you have them stacked on top of each other, you can just... Um, once you have them stacked on top of each other, you need to create the knife tool. Just press C and you can just cut this layer up into bits and pieces. Then press V and just remove some of these ones. The result will be just this glitching effect between both of these two versions. The regular and the AI one. Let's jump to the actual video that I did. And as you can see, these are just layers stacked up on each other like I showed you. And in the end, you'll see this uh, text come through and it's then morphing into uh, this AI generated moving like logo and to create that effect you basically just need to I just added a text layer I wrote the text and then what you can do is you can grab a export frame like this or you can just grab a screenshot of it like that Right, so then I went into Kyber and I uploaded the photo with the prompt a robot in the style of Alice in Wonderland. And the result was this uh, morphed one. So then you just need to fit it up with the text behind it. So it's a one-to-one -one fit and you're good to go. Go back to change the opacity up and what you then have is this text that seamlessly turns into this AI morphed logo style. So you can basically do this with any image or any logo that you want. All right, that's it. And after that, I just went ahead and found some cool classical music on YouTube. And so that's how you can do this effect with Midjourney, Runway and Kaber together. Hope you liked it. Bye bye.